Figuring out what kind of Wi-Fi network is right for you and your needs can be a bit confusing. You might have heard such terms as wireless G, wireless N, dual band, and plenty of other funny words and acronyms you don't understand. What does it all mean? To help make sense of things, let's take a closer look at two families, each of which need very different things from a Wi-Fi network. Here's the Smith family. They have a couple of laptops and a desktop. They just want to be able to use email and the internet, but don't care about streaming videos or any other bells and whistles. Their needs would be met with a basic Wi-Fi router that uses something called Wireless G. That's all they'll need as long as they only want their wireless signal to cover a small-sized home. Now check out the Jones family. They also have a couple of laptops and a desktop, but they want to use the internet for more than just reading the news and using email. They want to stream videos without jitters or waiting, and they also have an Xbox that little Johnny likes for online gaming. They even want to use their home network to watch DVDs they've stored on their computers, as well as watch them on their TV. The Joneses are going to need more than the basic wireless G router that the Smiths have. They're going to need a wireless N router. When you're choosing a wireless router for your home, you'll need to consider two things. First, Wireless G and Wireless N both work on the same radio frequency, which is why they're totally compatible. But the big difference between them is that Wireless N is up to 15 times faster and has superior range. Range is an important consideration if you're trying to cover a large home or one with heavy building materials such as bricks. Now, to benefit from Wireless N, you'll need for example, a laptop that has wireless in and a router that's wireless in. That makes them able to talk together at the faster speed, even if there's an older, slower wireless G laptop in the room. Second, if you decide that you want a wireless in router, you'll also need to decide if you want a router with two radios. What? You might be asking. Why have two radios? The answer is that this gives you a router that's ready for now and the future. The routers with two radios in them are called dual band because they have both a 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz radio in them. They allow devices such as a laptop with built-in 5 GHz wireless in or one upgraded to 5 GHz wireless in with an external adapter to connect on the 5 GHz band, which is the fastest band with the least interference. A dual band router also allows other laptops and devices to connect to the 2.4 GHz radio. For wireless networking, a dual band router is the best you can buy. Now you're ready to choose a wireless router for your home. Think about what you want your network to do for you, whether it's basic email and internet or streaming video and future ready dual band radios. Wireless G is enough for a lot of people, while Wireless N ensures you'll get everything you need out of your network now and in the future.